Yes, Roland Dow's attorney is asking for a much shorter sentence of five to ten years, saying it's unclear if it was Dow or his girlfriend who fueled the abuse, but the little boy's aunt says her nephew is scared of Dow, and if he gets out of prison, it would be devastating for him. James is petrified on a daily basis that Mr. Dow will escape and continue with his reign of terror. Darlene Roberts is talking about her nephew. At three years old, he was the victim of relentless physical abuse at the hands of Roland Dow, who is now serving 25 and a half to 67 years in prison for the assaults. But Dow is asking for that sentence to be reduced. I would never harm a child. I didn't assault James. I don't think that the jury think that I assaulted, thinks that I assaulted James. And I think I should be sentenced accordingly. His attorney asked for five to ten years, saying there's no way of telling if the jury convicted Dow as the main perpetrator or an accomplice, working with his then-girlfriend, the boy's mother, Jessica Lynn Scott. But when you're faced with a case like this, where you don't know and the jury doesn't tell you, what is the defendant entitled to? And we say he's entitled to the, def to the benefit of the doubt. On the stand, Lynn Scott did admit to spanking her son, hitting him and pushing him, but the prosecutor says it was minor compared to Dow's actions. The only way I can describe this man's actions is sadistic, <clears throat> deliberate. I don't care if he was charged as recklessly or not. The county attorney saying a strong message needs to be sent that Dow's behavior is unacceptable, something the victim's aunt echoed. This wonderful little boy will be imprisoned by this monster's abject cruelty forever, no matter what. The county attorney asked that Dow's minimum sentence be increased to 30 years, saying that his actions merit a harsh sentence, and she does not believe that he could be re rehabilitated. The Sentence Review Board has yet to make a decision. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.